New Hampshire's four electoral votes are key for both Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, and some voters waited until the very last minute to decide who they would cast their ballots for. WBZ's Nick Giovanni is live in Manchester with that part of our coverage. Nick? And David, now 85 minutes to go before polls close here in Manchester. Some of those decisions have yet to be made officially. As you can see behind me, we're seeing another wave of voters making their way into the Ward 3 polling location, adding to numbers that are already flirting with records. Ballot boxes were humming in New Hampshire Tuesday as a steady stream of voters lined up at polling locations across the Granite State. Many feeling a sense of relief Election day had arrived. Well, I woke up this morning saying, thank God that it's election day because it's been a long haul. Blocks away from where both Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump made their final stops in New Hampshire in the final hours of their campaigns, thousands stopped to cast their votes in Manchester, having made up their minds on who should be the next commander in chief. And the people here really evaluate their politicians. So when they get through, they're informed voters. Trump supporters made their presence known some in patriotic suits, others aboard buses. He's not a politician. Hillary, all the others have been in there forever and they haven't done anything, both sides. Then there was Betty Kakavis. At 89 years young, she's cast a ballot in every presidential election since she was 18 and never saw the day coming where she'd get to vote for a woman to take over the Oval Office. It's going to settle my mind that this country is going to come to a place where everyone can work together. If anyone can bring the Republicans and Democrats together, it's Hillary. And as you can see by this line that is still growing at this hour, election night far from over here in Manchester. As far as voter turnout is concerned, I can tell you by night's end, officials believe the numbers will most likely surpass those we saw back in 2012 here at this particular voting location. They already at 945 this morning surpassed the numbers we saw during the entire primary. Reporting live in Manchester, Nick Giovanni, WBZ News.